that um, one of the um, models we're using for the corn houses is a uh, jacket. Right, I have uh, Richie Pascal here Hello. with me. He is the co-producer of uh, Moonstone Miniature Game and also happens to be my friend and co-host on Hobby Sofa Podcast. Indeed. Now he's doing his own thing. Yep. So, <clears throat> Richie, this game uses cards instead of uh, dice. That's correct. So, what, are those like special cards? They're not like a poker deck. No, that's correct. They're not a poker deck. They are special cards designed by us. Um, they are designed um, along the, uh, that's what you say, the rule of three. Um, and they allow for you to play cards, certain number, and. I don't know, say, yeah, they're, 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 they're ones designed by us. Um, but, you know, you can download them for free if you would like to, um, if you want to give the game a try. Um, you can download it for free as a test of Wargame Vault, just do a search for Moonstone. Or you can um, pop us an email. We are currently um, we're open for pre orders and we are more than happy to uh, take orders. So the table is supposed to be free by free. How yes. much terrain do you actually need on it? Is it like a dense terrain game? It's or? not it's not it's not a dense terrain game. Um, it's you can get anywhere with um, actually probably if you, a sim, similar amounts like you would have with say a game of a normal uh, game of Warhammer Fantasy, okay. and then think of the sparse, sparseness of the Warhammer Fantasy terrain. Similar type of thing. You want stuff to block line of sight, but it doesn't need to be anything like Infinity, it's not for example. Level, no, 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 no. Okay. You can if you want, and it does make the game more interesting. Well, oh. well, not not say more interesting, but it changes the dy dynamics of the game in doing so. Okay, that is interesting in itself. Um, so. Um you you already been here a few hours, and um, <laughs> you could say that. Did, yeah. did Moonstone attracted attention here at Salute? Oh yes, we had lots, lots of attention. Um, people, a lot of people being getting a chance of the um, demo table we've been running. Uh, we've had lots of people looking at our stock, lots of talking about it. We had loads of backers, which is fantastic. Oh. Um, we had a, we had a special thing because um, of what what. <laughs> Hot cotton knife. <laughs> um, we've had we had a special deal from some of the backers. If they were here, we would actually get their stuff for them for any of the backers, and they would give them to them today. So we've had a good number of people walking away with the stuff that they actually helped us create, which is just brilliant. Now, of course, we met us because you were our local weird henchman. Yes. Now, imagine if Malifaux didn't want the second edition, you'd still be a weird henchman now. Uh, almost <laughs> certainly of doing not. This. Almost no. certainly not. Not because of Malifaux, not because of Malifaux, just because I would be definitely doing this. Oh, okay. Definitely doing this, because well, good. this game is... I, I, I said this years ago, and I'll say it again. Moonstone, the future of character driven skirmish. Okay. Um, so, uh, you mentioned you're already writing second book. Yes, that's Is correct. Is there any chance you can maybe share some information on the miniatures which are coming out, possibly new factions, possibly campaigns? Goblin pirates. Goblin pirates. <laughs> I heard you mentioned fawns to someone as well. And all sorts of things, lots of lots of lots of uh, immortal humans, you might argue as well. Um, we've got some very interesting things in the pipeline. Um, is um, does this game has a campaign mode? Um, that is something we're currently working on for okay. book two. Uh -huh. um, we are looking for a campaign mode that's not quite your traditional campaign. It's not your um, those familiar with GW games such as Necromunda, uh, Gorka, Morka, More Time. It's not that sort of campaign. We are looking for something with a twist. Moonstone itself is not your traditional fantasy game. We don't want the campaign to be a traditional campaign. Okay. Well, last thing, could you just try, you know, sell? Uh, Moonstone to my subscribers. Absolutely. Okay, so for those of you who are not familiar with it, Moonstone is a 32mm character driven skirmish game. It's a fantasy game, but with a focus on your whimsical fairy tale. 
This is not Tolkien, this is not Lord of the Rings, this is not Warhammer. This is more Eastern European folklore. We have an awful lot of influences from um, European with um, Germanic influences. Um, if you're actually curious, we're actually currently working um, developing things on actually a Polish side. Oh. We're bringing Polish folklore into Slavic. it. Slavic. Slavic. Yes, yes. Okay, that's interesting. Wodianoi, um, Rusalka. You got it. Um, <laughs> I believe one character that is, oh, what was the name of it? Um, it's um, a um, Polish um, Striga. We've got a Striga coming. Striga? Yeah. I'm not sure what that is. It's a Polish vampire. Strogoi? No, 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 not Strigoi, Striga. Striga. It's kind of like a Strigoi, but monstrous and bestial and ah! Okay. <laughs> um, so yes, that's that's that, that's a very long way away. But this is the point. We've been, you know, we, we haven't we've been sitting on laurels for the past, you know, year and a half, two years. We've got, um, we're, we're currently writing book two. We've got plans for book three already in development. We are pushing ahead. This is not a one and done game. If you guys want a game that's going to carry on, Moonstone is going to be it. It's really we're right there. And it is fun, it is not your traditional fantasy game. The essence of the game is fun, playfulness, and trying to like, screw over your opponent, but having a laugh at the same time. We have a goblin that rides a pug who farts. What else do you want? And uh, this is trigger characters. They still, <laughs> they still fit into these two main factions, like light and dark, you guys. You have to see. Ah, so there might be something else then. You have to see. Okay, Richie, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was great talking to you here and all the best with this new game. Thank you.